All right, guys. I'm gonna show you a video of Denise. Um, I'm an animator, and a lot of times uh, I don't have a big production company. I don't have even uh, friends that are into animation. I have plenty of friends, but not a lot that are into animation. So a lot of times I'm working on cartoons by myself. Um, granted, in 2014 with software you can actually do uh, cartoons yourself uh, and you don't need those big huge production companies like you did you know two decades ago or whatever so anyway I'm gonna get Denise here to help me and instead of making her big like that I'm gonna have her in the corner so she doesn't get in the way but um, I trained her to wear She's going to help me out. Granted, she can't draw or put forth anything creative, but at least she can help me a little bit here and there. So we're going to get started. I'm going to say, wake up. Wake up. I can hear you. Time to go to work. Yes, sir. Let me know if I can be of any assistance. Open project, stage, go. All right. Content manager. Uh, let's bring it back. Content manager. Uh, new project. Let's see here. Let's open a new project. Let's get a new character. Mm. Let's put them in the coffee shop. All righty. Action menu. Hmm. Yawn. Undo. Timeline. Go to start frame. Uh, redo. Play. Stop. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. As you can see here, uh, I'm just basically just giving her commands and she's doing what I ask her to do uh, using keyboard shortcuts. Um, this program has quite a few keyboard shortcuts, so I'm just taking advantage of that and I coded uh, Denise here to uh, coincide with that so she can essentially help me and as you can see I, I just gave an example of her assisting me uh, with my animation granted again she can't do everything I can but she can do like the little things where you could actually hear my mouse clicks and I didn't click very much um, but let's say that I wanted to make this guy See, I wanted to make him um, angry. Let's make him angry. Let's preview that. Okay, ooh, 
He looks so mad. <laughs> you know, but uh, there are things that I have to do myself. However, like some of the more mundane things, uh, I got her to do, you know, you know, go to the beginning of the frame or go to the end, play, stop, uh, open project, save project. You know, there's uh, there's quite a bit that you can get her to do. And I had coded her to do all sorts of stuff. Like, for example, wake up. I can hear you. Scene manager. Okay. Content manager. Oops. Whoops. Stop. Content manager. All right. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. So anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Um, the program uh, can be used for all sorts of things and, and basically anything that you do on the computer or in your life, you know, if she can help in a certain way, you can get her to do things like, you know, I, I could sit here and I can perfect it and code her with every single keyboard shortcut that the program has to offer, which is quite a bit. And, you know, she could essentially do all these things by me just telling her versus me making those extra mouse clicks. I mean, some people might say it's lazy, but the way I see it is, you know, she's helping me out, you know? So <laughs> just want to show you real quickly. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, this program, it's really good. It's a, it's called crazy talk animator two. It's made by the real illusion company. And, uh, I'm using Denise. Uh, she's my virtual assistant. This is made by Guile 3D, which they've recently changed their name to Next OS. So uh, hit up nextos.com to check out Denise or reillusion.com to check out Crazy Talk Animator 2. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I got lots of videos coming, and uh, it really helps me out. Thanks for watching.